Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, November 24th. It's the 26th week after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 107, and uh, verses 33 to 48, and Luke chapter 18, verse 9 through 14. And join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to our God. Let us shout for joy to the rock that saves us. Let us approach with praise and thanksgiving. Let us sing joyful songs to our God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia! God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground. Alleluia! Psalm 107, and please recite it with me. Alleluia! God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness, because of the wickedness of them that dwell there. God turns the wilderness into a pool of water, and water springs from dry grounds, and there God makes the hungry dwell, that they may prepare a city in which to live. And so the fields and plant the vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. God blesses them so that they are multiplied, and did not let their cattle herds decrease. They are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. God pours contempt upon rulers, and makes them to wander in the wilderness. And yet God frees the poor from affliction and multiplies their families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, but all iniquity shall shut her mouth. Those who are wise will observe these things. They shall know the loving kindness of God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 18, beginning at verse 9. Jesus told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I pass twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us forth, O beloved God, into your kingdom, and deliver us from all our troubles, for we sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia! This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia! And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. 
Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.